Hello everyone, welcome once again to Investing with the Difference. So today we are going to talk about one of the most important development in EOS world, uh, especially around governance. I think uh, this is something which uh, maybe you do not understand the implication I'm going to show in this video, how big it is. So let me first of all talk about what exactly happened. So basically the referendum system that is uh, a voting mechanism for token holders for any big changes into the EOS contract or EOS uh, governance that is uh, now available as a system contract. So what it means is on the chain anonymously you can vote for proposals which are uh, going to be uh, pre pre presented by the community and you yourself as a token holder you can simply make any proposal you want the change you want to see on eos and that is something which is approved and deployed now so what it means that it is deployed is you can go to for example any tool which allows you to see the proposals and vote for example i'm using here blocks.io which is a block explorer but it also has a scatter interface and you can actually use it as a wallet uh, and uh, more and more wallets are going to bring support for it i'm sure i have not yet exposed but it's a very new thing uh, i'm using scatter heavily and blocks.io so i just chose this but even eos x which is uh, uh, the my eos kit version of uh, the new block explorer eos x which was launched recently by asia uh, eos asia they also have the same thing where you can see referendums and you can vote for them so let's get back to uh, what is the implication so what it means is there are some of, already there are quite a few referendums which are being proposed and being voted on the top proposal is the to remove ecaf uh, we have voted for that and uh, i think this is the one of them which is getting 100 percent vote which is very interesting to see because uh, so this is in blocks.io it is currently listed as most popular means how many votes it has got and in a decreasing order this will help remove some irrelevant spammy proposals because only the ones which are getting voted by people will come up on the top for you to come up now uh, because investing with the difference is a proxy just wanted to highlight that uh, we will be voting on these proposals and if you have proxied with us you do not have to vote if you agree with us but the good thing is if you do not agree with the investing with the difference voting you can always go and vote and your vote will be taking precedence over uh, your proxy vote that means you do not have to change proxy you can still vote and it will cancel out the your accounts proxy vote that means uh, it will not be double counted only your vote counts but if you agree with us uh, or if you mostly agree with us you can just use uh, uh, the proxy vote so let me give you an example which we have already voted so i do want to share with you this is, uh, i think as a proxy this is our uh, responsibility so we have already voted for one token one vote which we agree with that means every token holder we talked about it we covered it in the previous video do go watch our views um, so that you understand why we support one token one vote uh, we have actually we have created a proposal so i have created this proposal on the system that is burn the saving that means if you remember we talked about this additional four uh, uh, percent inflation which is not being used it is getting accumulated in a your saving account so we have uh, voted for this because we have created this proposal uh, now decaf as i talked about this is basically removing ecaf uh, and then there are some other proposals you can go and review this you can simply go to uh, investing with the difference account you can see these uh, what are the votes we have done uh, we have also voted against the inverse voting which telos has proposed because uh, there are a lot of ways I think uh, telos has made sure that the inverse voting is effective because they are also uh, adding some kind of a pre-approval of BPs they are actually limiting block producers from joining because they are actually filtering the BPs I think the inverse voting is effective when you do that filtering if you do it on mainnet it will have a negative effect because the BPs who are really controlling the network they will end up creating more and more sock puppets and it will hurt the system more so as in isolation inverse weighted, uh, weighted voting may not work on your mainnet and we disagree to apply it um, it has to come up like telos it works i i'm not disagreeing with the telos model of inverse weight uh, voting but that only works when we are doing additional changes on the how the bps are selected right now on your mainnet anybody can become a bp and you do not want to apply inverse weighted voting because that will actually push uh, the big block producers uh, to actually create more and more um, uh, sock puppets more and more 
fake block producers uh, if this inverse weight uh, voting is implemented then the another one which we approved is rex that is the rex uh, if you remember everybody is waiting for rex and without um, eos new york had written an article of why um, rex cannot be implemented without uh, really going ahead and doing a referendum so that is already there so you can go through it so this is another popular referendum so de deploying rex uh, so what it talks about is uh, deploying rex with all of the system funds except for block producer rewards and uh, this is already proposed and it is being voted on and uh, so i think these are some of the proposals um, the reason i'm very excited about it is now the community has a voice uh, there are speculation about whether people like us idea or not now you can vote with your tokens and uh, again this is not guaranteed to be implemented remember there are multiple aspects there will be proposals there will be approvals the next aspect will be whether it can be implemented logistically so uh, the code has to be ready to implement that the uh, logistically whether it's even possible those will be next steps this right now these are more like polls and community voice so it's a first step in governance in first uh, step in building democracy uh, but i think some of these things are very easy for example the ecaf i'm sure it will be much easier to implement if you just say that the, uh, we have to just remove the ecaf and most of, most of the people agree with this i think so it will not be a big issue but getting an approval from community will really give it uh, more and more uh, success now if you see here three percent of total votes have already be, been casted and uh, we already have more than four million for removing ecaf and there is not a single vote it looks like for keeping ecaf which is interesting there is zero eos which is voting for keeping ecaf uh, so these are actually going to be very very interesting ideas which uh, we are looking at and hopefully uh, we will learn more about the community voice as these proposals are voted on so let's uh, see uh, so i hope that you understand it i hope that uh, you will look at uh, what's going on please feel free to ask questions on youtube channel you can join our telegram on um, which the link is already here uh, if you have any question about what uh, investing with the difference is voting for uh, and how we will uh, if you are proxying with us it's very important for us for you to be connected with us to raise your opinion and let us know if you agree or disagree with any of those choices we are making uh, but overall i think uh, it's a great great tool uh, now that we have it this contract on the chain and um, uh, while it took some time i think this is going to be a game changer for eos uh, and uh, i'm hope that this will make decisions easy for block producers uh, one more thing which i talked about is uh, this is uh, these are not like block producer voting where you can you know, use your vote uh, like 30 times right means that's another thing which why referendums are good because this will be another test for one is to one voting that means only every token will have only one voice so total to votes will really tell you what whales think what you and me think and uh, that will really give you a good idea uh, instead of the block producers rankings which can be manipulated with the multiple voting with coordinated voting vote buying and so on for referendums there is no real uh, rewards it's just about raising your voice and that is why it's a very important thing where you learn what the most of the eos token holders feel about the chain so e even if you look at it maybe it will it's not about the implementation but just about the voice of the community uh, with the actual tokens with actual on chain voting with the, your tokens i think it's very important to have this tool either you can see it in the short term it's a polling mechanism in longer term it will act as a way to define what changes will go on the chain all right so that is all i wanted to talk about and i hope you're as excited as i am and do send us your feedback and do engage with us on how we are voting uh, especially if you are proxying with us so thanks a lot bye for now and have a great weekend